Hello and welcome back and we have more news concerning Prince Harry and Meghan. We will be having them out once again. So this time, as you've seen by the title of this video, Tyler Perry is going to be hosted at the Paley Honours with Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex on host committee. So the article here starts off by saying the Paley Center for Media announced on Wednesday that it will honor Tyler Perry at its Paley Honors Gala taking place in Beverly Hills on December the 4th. The event, which will be held at the Beverly Wilshire Hotel, will serve as a celebration of Perry's long and versatile career as an actor, writer, director, studio owner, and philanthropist. He has produced over 2,000 episodes of television and directed, written, and produced 28 feature films since 2019. Perry has also operated his Tyler Perry Studios in Atlanta. The Paley Center has convened some of Perry's closest friends and colleagues as part of its Paley Honors Tribute Host Committee, including Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex. As we know, Tyler Perry is godfather to the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's daughter, Lily Bett, after offering up his home to the couple following their exit from the royal family in their roles as senior working royals. So they've also said on the panel will be Whoopi Goldberg, Taraji P. Henson, George Lucas, who I love Star Wars, yay, uh, Ted Sarandos, Kerry Washington, and more who are also part of the committee. And then this is what has been said, quote, throughout my career, I've strived to bring people together and to give a voice to those often underrepresented in media, end quote. That is Tyler Perry's statement. And he went on to say, quote, media has served as a vital platform for this mission, and I'm honored to receive this award from the Paley Center for Media, an organization that has dedicated itself to spotlighting the power and importance of media, end quote. And Maureen J. Reedy, president and CEO of the Paley Center for Media, added, quote, through his acclaimed and prolific body of work, Tyler Perry has solidified his place as one of media's greatest and most impactful figures. With each new project, he continues to move our industry and culture forward. And it is our great privilege to present Tyler with our highest honor, the Paley Honors Award on December the 4th." End quote. That's the first update of the day. Looking forward to seeing Prince Harry and Meghan once again. I hope that we will get more information about whether this event will have streaming on it. But once again, Beverly Hills, December the 4th. We will have Prince Harry and Meghan and more on this panel on the hosting committee as Tyler Perry will receive the Paley Center for media's highest honor at its gala. So that's the first story of the day and we're still on that high from Prince Harry receiving the Pat Tillman Award. And we still have more news of how loved the Duke and Duchess of Sussex were. Apparently they were spotted with the Gatorade Players of the Year at the SP's award. And the retail wire says, quote, the Duke of Sussex was on hand at the end to receive the Pat Tillman Award for service, which ESPN awarded to him for, quote, his tireless work in making a positive impact for the veteran community, end quote. And this is through the Invictus Games, which he founded. The Royals were just two of many A-list celebrities on hand with Sadie Engelhardt and Cooper Flagg as the 2023-2024 Gatorade Best Female and Best Male Players of the Year distinguished the duo as the best high school athletes in the nation. So Prince Harry and Meghan were there spotted taking a picture with Engelhardt and Flag, And everyone is beaming in this picture. And allow me to say, we all know that Prince Harry is a pretty tall guy. So it is fascinating to see anyone towering over him in the picture. And as you can see there, uh, quite a few tall figures in the picture. So anyway, <laughs> that's just an aside. Everyone looks happy. And it is noteworthy that in a room that is filled with A-listers, you know, from all facets of entertainment, that they had this moment, and I'm sure it will live with them, that in all of the eventful moments of that night, that they had this very special time to take this one picture with the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Everyone looks amazing. So yes, it does seem as the event was going on that Cooper Flagg and Sadie Engelhardt had that royal hangout session, taking that picture with the Duke and Duchess of Sussex at the ESPN ESPY Awards ceremony. 
it does speak to the fact that there was so much love in the room for uh, the Sussexes as they were there and everyone looks to be so happy to have this opportunity to take that picture with them and you know it was interesting to see the reactions from having Harry and Meghan there it just shows how much the truth has been able to cut through so much of the negative commentary on the ground as people say things are quite different people love the Duke and Duchess of Sussex we're happy to have them there as you can see these two winners were quite happy to have that quick moment to take a snap with the Sussexes and you know there were just so many other highlights of the night as well so we are super excited so it was cool to see all the honor and love that the Sussexes got at the event and there was also a moment that I have to just add in here. Some people were trying to say that as Harry and Meghan were exiting the event that people were telling them to go. I don't know how many of you saw that going around. Absolutely taken out of context. That clip, and I want to just give it here for context, uh, was you know just kind of in between the moments as it cuts to adverts and stuff like that for the home viewers. You know, there is that downtime in the ceremony itself. So someone was on stage, a song, and people were pointing to someone who was down for them to get the mic. So everyone was pointing in that direction saying, the mic to be passed down they were not saying uh harry and megan to get out of the hall so i couldn't even believe that that was circulating online i don't know how many of you saw that share your thoughts in the comment section totally out of context everyone was so happy to have Harry and Meghan there as you saw when Harry got up to receive the Pat Tillman award he had a standing ovation it was so emotional for not only the Duke of Sussex but everyone there and also Serena Williams sister Venus Williams she did stand up when everyone gave Harry the standing ovation people pointed to a clip where it cut away immediately just before she stood up she of course loves Harry she stood up with everyone else happy to have him there happy to have him honored in that moment for the good work they were doing with the military community veterans their families and through the Invictus game so yes I just wanted to add that here so anyway back to the good news we're gonna get to to see um, Harry and Meghan once again out for the Paley honors that they will be having. Look out for that, mark your calendars. So much more to come. Share your hype for this in the comment section below. As always, before we log off, allow me here to thank those of you who support this channel financially and shout out a couple of you here by name. A very special thank you to you. Elaine Babb, I want to say thank you. You are valued and you are dear to me. Thank you for every way that you have gone above and beyond to show your support. I truly do appreciate you and may God bless you and yours. Thank you. A very special thank you as well to you, Gigi. You mean so much to me. Thank you for choosing to accompany me here on this YouTube journey. I appreciate you for the love and the care and for thinking of me. Know that I love you and you are so valued here. Thank you and God bless. And now a very special thank you to some of you who gave during the last live. A very special thank you to you. You go by the handle Black Queen. Once again, thank you. You are so dear. I truly love you and know that I am praying for you always. Thank you for going above and beyond for your giving, for your love and the kindness that you've continued to show me and the blessing you have been to all of us here on this channel. You are such a tremendous boost. I love you. God bless you. And a very special thank you as well to you. Thelma Christmas. I'm so touched by your love. Thank you for that tremendous generosity that you've shown to me here. I truly appreciate you for choosing to show your love in such a tangible way. May God bless you and yours. I love you and thank you. Once again, share your thoughts on this update in the comment section below. If you liked this one, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, click subscribe. It truly does help out the channel and follow on Twitter or X. I'd love to see you on there as well. Have a great day. Keep you here for more. Let's pray for each other and I will catch you in the next one. Have a blessed one.